good once again my name is graphics today we'll be doing enlargement and reduction which is an aspect of technical drawing where we want to analyze this question so we want to draw this we want to enlarge it and we want to what reduce it so the first thing you have to do is to draw this shape which is this we are giving a b to be 45 AD to be 20, BC to be 40. So the first thing we have to do, we have to draw out the shape. So first of all, we'll draw your vertical and horizontal line, which is this. So you draw your vertical, like this, you can see. Then you move this up, you draw your horizontal line. Move this up to draw the horizontal line like this. You can see that. So now the first point here is this, right? So if you look at this very well, let's time this point they meet should be this point here, which is point A. Right, then from point A to B is 45. So you measure your 45. So that is uh, if I'm starting from 7, I'll go by saying 10, 20, 30, 40. This is 45 here, right? And I am going to take in it because it is ticking there. I'm going to take in it, right? That is AB. And the next thing we're drawing should be AD, which is 20. So I'm going to measure 20 from here. Let me 20 from here. From this point, I'll measure my 20. This is 10, 20. At this point here. Right? I'm going to close it up. All good. Now the next one will be this guy here, from here to here is what, 30, and from here to here is what, 40. But if you look at it, it is slant. So what you do is, with the help of your compass, you measure 30 on your meter rule from this to here, 30 on your meter rule. I see that, and you place it here. You strike an arc, right? And then also you measure 40. So your meter rule, it should be 1 to 5. This is 40. You can see that. And you place it at B. So where they meet, it's called point C. So they're meeting here. That's point C. We are going to join both of them together. From here to here, turn it, and from here to here, you join it. So this is A, this is um, D, and this is what C. Oh, good. So we have successfully done this. Now what we're looking at is to enlarge. So my advice is, at any point here, you take a point, let's say at any point at this point, let me see here, you take a point C, right, you take a point C, let's say that point P is here, they are going to pass that from that point through each of these points here, like this, so you place it here, to draw, I see that you take it here also you draw you can see that you take it here also you draw 
Now you take it here too. You draw. So you make it as long as you can. Now move. Draw an imaginary line. Now the next thing that we are looking forward to do is to enlarge this guy. Now sometimes you might be told to enlarge it depending on how much you want to enlarge right so i can divide this line into a many part that i can divide it to let me see maybe into 10 right so let's see let's take an for instance i will draw my horizontal line here any line at any given angle can you see that and I'm going to use my compass let's say I'll measure 10 with this and I'll come here and I'll start counting this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so this one is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five let me stop at five first so if i join the last this point here b to five you can see that then i'm going to join the rest points watch so once you've joined that last point five and b right you place your other compass for five degree set square place at the edge here can you see where i'm placing it here so with the help of that i can easily draw this and i'll keep moving it up here to point four i'll join I'll take it to point three. I'll join. I'll take it to point two. I'll join. I'll take it to point one. I'll join. Are we good? So look at what I've done now. They call it line division. Removing it. Now, if I keep moving, right? If I say okay, I want to reduce this from five to four, maybe from this five, I want to reduce it, right? Let's say five is to four. From this point here, with the help of my C square, I'm going to take this and I'm going to join from here. I'm going to move it up because B to A. So from B to this point. Now use my set square. I'll move it to that A. Now this is point D. So this is a line of what? Of D. So I'm going to move this a straight line to meet her to what? This point here. This is D. So I'll call it D prime. Right? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to now for me to get this um, point here. What I will do, I will come here. I'm going to draw an horizontal line, a vertical line straight down. That will touch this point here. You can see. I draw a straight line, faint line that will touch here. And I'll take my compass. And I'll from this point. I'm going to draw my arc like this. You can see that is faint line. So where the arc meets this point here, I'm going to draw a line to go through it like this, right? So that will draw a line that will go through it there. So. I'm going to extend here too to come down. 
I will strain this point to come down to meet that arc. It made the arc here, right? And I'll take my compass also and move this to this point to touch here. You can see the arc I'll draw it to touch here. So from this point, hmm, I'm going to extend it upward. So where it touch here, that is where I will just take my ruler and join here and i'll take my rule and i'll join here so what i've just done i just successfully um reduced this from ratio five is to what three if i continue moving maybe let me see this is five this is four this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine and this is ten maybe i want to take you to a ratio of what let's say 10 right so what i will do is this i will from here from this line here and i was dividing earlier so i'll place my set square at this point at this point then um take my other set square at this point so i will just complete this and move it to six this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine and this is what ten and i want to enlarge it so i will do this at point nine or maybe at point six point eight i want to increase from five to eight right so at point eight I'm going to extend it upward like upward this way extend it upward so from this point i'll take it to where i want to enlarge it here so this is i'll call it b prime prime to a prime prime right and i'll move it to that a you know where i want to join is a to d so i'll move this to d so i'll use my set square from a straight to what d so i'll call it d prime prime right so the same thing will happen now the next one i'll do is from this point here i'm going to place it like this you know i drew a line from this point initially so i'm going to extend that line this line here Hmm? You can see the line. Let me enlarge it for you to see. This line that I push is here. I'm going to extend it. So, that's the line there. Right? So, from that line, I'm going to extend this guy down here. I'll bring it down to touch the line. Touching the line now, look at it. It's touching the line, which is here. You can see that. So I'll take my compass, I'll place it here, and I'm going to put it at this point here. And I'll draw my arc up. So where the arc touches this line, I will extend it upward to touch anywhere around this line because i'm looking for this point here c so I'll just take it up faint line to so where it meets here i'm going to join this to this and i'm going to join this to this so this is the enlargement the reduction i've enlarged it from um from five is to what is to it then five to three so I've reduced it and enlarge it so this video was helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button